Welcome back to my factorial tutorial world. Now, we're here next to all my massive lumps of ore. Now, I don't even see it tutorials around the iron system. That's what I'm doing, y'all. And as you can see, I'm putting out put on that rule. I'll show you how to do that right now. Today, though, we're going to be doing the science machine. Like me, science machine and part two of the furnace. We me put a bit of both. Let's just get all the way down there. Takes off in six, seven seconds. So all you do is... Obviously, you still haven't got the bed, but that's what we're going to do today. We're going to upgrade it. This system too. Now we need you. That, 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 that. Let's go look at the mouse button down. Then we go on the other side. You have no fuel because we ain't got the red arms yet. They just got some in them because I put them in there. So then we've got some plates in order to make the science pack for the need. But I'll get into that in a bit. So at first it's a bit manual. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this. For this world, we're going to have them going this way. Oh, it's going to pull up there. There. A minute to pull up around there. And they're not coming up because they've got nothing in them and they need fuel because of it. Then we go over here, then I'm walking in that place. It's as simple as that. It's not rocket science. And to be honest, the basics of rocket science isn't actually like rocket science, if you know what I mean. You say, oh, it's not rocket science. Make it sound really complicated, but the basics of rocket science isn't very complicated at all. It's actually really basic, but still, there we go. <laughs> Let's get some more poles. I should keep me going for a bit. Let's pop these here. Oh, whoops. There we go. Connect them to the system. Now that's that. Now, we need to make a research machine. So I was thinking. I'm going to put it all the way over here. It's a bit out of the way, but then we've got loads of room to expand. Because we're going to need to expand it now. I've been busy my own the world. And I've got this book here, as we know. Now if I... How does one do this? Shift plus wheel. No, it doesn't. I'm holding shift and I'm using the wheel. Shift us wheel up for next. Nope. Oh, shift key. Only in here. Liar! Right click, we want that. Just do that. Okay, now. I'll put that there. This is my basic red science machine. There you go. Now, this is how you build it. I've just done that just so I don't build it wrong. Because I remember it all is not the simplest. So, now, as you'll notice, I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight. And I've got like one, two, three, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twelve more of these. And the reason that is you need this many to keep those going. It's a bit excessive, a little bit. Not much though. You'll be surprised of how many of these you need to keep these going. We'll explain that in a bit. Because these things here, if you don't know, this is where you do your research. So when you push T, it will say that here, <coughs> the more you need for the red hands, you need 10 science packs. And the science packs goes in here, and then it brings the line up, and then your research line in the top right hand corner is not a line there at the moment, but it will go up. And up. If we choose that one, I can click on research. The automation line will go up. And when you place them, just make sure there's enough gap in between each one to place one pole. That's all you need. And you'll need to place the poles where I've got my poles. I'm still trying to figure out how I can share you my blueprints, apart from share the world i suppose i could keep a make a save game that's just a blank world and we use it just for sharing blueprints yeah. then you can just use it then once you've got the blueprint you can just pick up the book and then drag it onto there and then when you click on here on your old world it'll come in here so you can bring it into any other save game it's not a bad idea, that mark. Looks like that's what we'll be doing now. We get these. They need to face that way to go put blue, to put the red science packs in the science machine. So we go one, two, three. One, two, three. Do you want to do that? Look at the old robot arms. Now, oh, my bad. Obviously, we need the conveyor belts to move the items around, so. Take it that way. That's why it's sticking out a bit too far, but we'll do that anyway. Take it that way. And obviously, you're going to need to connect this system to your base, so let's quickly do that. Hmm. <laughs> Such a little gap, can't we? Enough power for you, yeah. Now, what I recommend is here, let's get the, the auto crafting machine. Oh, assembly machine one. Oh, you can't. You can't do this without research. After I've been, it's been so long since I started at the beginning. Okay, so you want to go into your tea like you need ten science packs. So just come in here. So it's like two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, yeah, okay. So let's just make ten of them, though. So. Obviously, you're going to have to wait for it to craft up. All you need is gears and that, but you don't need gears and that. And you don't have to worry about All you need to do is make sure you've got iron plates and copper plates, iron plates and copper plates in your inventory and then you better craft it. And once you craft ten of those, just go. 
One, two. One, one, two. One, two. I forgot you've got to do it first. And just wait for that to be done. And... There we go, that's that done now. For now, we'll come back to that in a minute. We'll finish off these old systems, as I said. This video is going to be both things. So you need to craft yourself a load of long arms. Then pop your arm facing that way. Put right there. 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 Like so. Now put them that way. And now the system is fully up and running. Obviously, the conveyor belt is a bit blocked up, but still, we'll be doing a video someday on. Like a massive storage system, but mm, that's going to take a lot of advanced technology and yeah, that's late game stuff. Somehow I haven't got a telegraph for this, but I'm going to call. Yeah, no one can call there. My bad. Okay, that's that going. Now let's go back up to the top system. And we need to... Uh, Yeah, I'll upgrade the other one, sorry, just checking, so. Yeah, we don't have those yet, okay, that's the excellent switch. All the way up we go. And as you can see, I've added a, a few of these miners. I might have gone a bit over the top, but yeah. Now. Here, we don't have underground conveyor belts at the moment, so we just get some red. You put a, what I've done is like you put one there. I messed up a little bit, but still, yeah. I put that there. And I've got one of these here for the coal to go from there to there. So then it feeds the furnace. Not very efficient, but there we go. In the next research, that's how we're going to be doing it. That's how you do it. And you go over here, get the red arm, and then do the same for your iron. I find these quicker and easier to do one side at a time. So you've got to keep going like that and turn it around, then go back, turn it around, turn it around, turn it around. That's annoying. So I do it this way. I know that one of those one, but it was supposed to be. It's a flaw in my blueprint. Mistakes were made. And with this system too, if you want to, you can expand it. As you can see here. That's the large version. But we'll do a video on that at some other point when we've got the research to be able to craft all those components. But that's the super big version. There you go. Now let's get back to the science machine. What this video is actually about the main subject. Now the furnace are done too, that helps. Now we need to make a load of those. So you go in here now and craft yourself loads of assembly machines. As I say before, before 
you're only going to need iron plates and copper plates and the rest will be made for you. It just says to me, or because, well, I'm in creative mode, I don't know. But it'll say plates. Uh, make some of these up. And what you do is, like, to get the gap in, like, what I do, the easiest way I find is go. Just run along that with a few and then go, pick up. I'm a liar. Then go one, pick up, one, pick up, one. So, big row, pick up, pick up. Then you got the gap in. Okay. Fine, it's easier than doing that, then going like that, and then going. One more. That's a bit more. Yeah, that's right. And then placing it is. Yeah. But there's two ways of doing that. To get your spacing perfect. So that way you always got enough room for your power. I've got a bit extra here, but I mean, best have a bit of extra, I say. So place them all down. You can do it as long as you want, really. But. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twelve in a row keeps it keeps one, two, three, four, five, six. Eight times machines going nicely. They went them down here too, I'll show you why I've got so many too. For the other reason. A lot of things are coming out. Well it's not a lot of things coming out. Mistakes were made there. going up. And these top ones you want science packs. So you go in here, these are auto crafters, choose science packs. There you go, look, as you see, it says iron plates and copper plates. Oh, I Let's connect the power first so it shows. So I, I had to push my alt key, my, my control key, but for you it's alt. Let's just change the key. Go along and choose. A, I'm pushing E by the way to it, close it quickly. That might be different for you. You have to check the controls. I think it's default. I don't know. So let's change it. And the bottom row, you want gears. I know it's a bit tedious and it can be really annoying, but it's worth the little stress and pain it can put in one's head. Now, once that's done, Let's stop that flashing because that's what I mean. That. One there. 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 If you're using a blueprint, okay, and you're going to put it down here, it won't let you put it on it. Just make it go near near it. And then point on the mirror, the ghost of it, and then it'll put it right. It's not right, but it is right. What I think it is, is that's bug. The position is actually where it is now. For some reason, it shows it over there, which you can't put one there. It's just impossible. So I can put one there. No, I can't because there'll be an arm there. That'll remove the arm or close arm. So, eh. Little tip there. We'll be going into blueprints at some point. Trying to get more advanced and that stuff for, like for sharing it and all. Okay. And you go all the way across the top in that pattern. You may need to go for me one my video and pause it a few times to get them right side. So I thought just play around.
If you're wondering, I've got two here. This one covers this piece, and this one covers that, which you can see with the big green box. But so, just in case you're wondering. And you might not know what the box means, but that means it'll cover that area. That means it can't cover that area because it can't go there. So it changes to different color. You know, that's kind of obvious, designers. I wonder, can I put it on top of the machine? I wonder, why doesn't that work? Hmm. <laughs> but that's what it means. So now let's get the standard inserters. All the way back down the bow. Like that way. There, there. That's that. Then switch them over. And like that. So then what this does, okay, it's going to take... I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. Let's just first get this built. Maybe let's see how it works. Well, obviously what I'm doing now is going to take the gears out of here and put them in there. And hands the arrow pointing up. And the hand going into the machine. Well, on the machine, but that's just the way it goes. There you go. And then you want this. So it takes stuff off here and puts it into there. I was getting confused then for a second. First place down this. Don't have them facing the plane as well, but we just do that out now. I can see him change it. Oh, well. Let's spawn some more of those in. We'll be needing them. Play some upgrade versions one day. Somehow I am missing a pole. And put one there. Hmm. I don't know how to do it, but there we go. Simple fix. Now, um, we need reds. And you need them facing that way. One there. There. So they put, oh, I won't turn it on straight away. Oh, we feed it, it is on. So, okay, these take resources from here and put them in here. Because we need copper gears and oh, no, copper plates. So it's going to take copper plates off here and stick them in here. I have two arms to make it going quicker. These arms will take the gears made in here and put them into there. These arms we take the iron plates off here, put them in here to make iron gears. And that's how the system works. Now, um, so obviously we need iron on here for one. So let's get some iron. The red furnace up here. Okay, I'll connect the iron to the system and the copper, then I'll be back. But all I am going to do is go around and like 
do that and then go down and connect them to there, like connect them together. Obviously, you're gonna have to tell it that because the object wave on. But you can do that by just like getting the way you want, going to open this bit out. And then it changes it. Boom, so okay. Back in a minute. Okay, guys, I've connected the copper and iron as you can see, and it is making science kits. And ready, steady, bang, one science kit. <gasps> Well, you can't do nothing about that one there not being put in it. Oh, no, no, sorry. My bad. Now, uh, push T. And then what we need to find is this one here, because we need the underground arms, and we need the splitters next. So click on your logistics, and then click research. Obviously, you don't have to do any order. I do the research. I'm just showing. This is, I think, the best one to choose at the beginning. And as you can see, the research is going up pretty quick. And it will get quicker depending on how many machines you've got going. The more machines you had here, the longer you're going to need on this system here. And you see it's taking a while to... It's going to take a while to catch up. Part of the problem is this here. But I'm about to fix that. Just go wait for the research to complete. Because at the moment that is highly inefficient and it is clogging up the system. They're not getting any. Okay, we'll come back to that in a minute now. You go over here now you've got that. And destroy that. Let's destroy all those a minute. So I can see what I'm doing. Now make yourself some splitters. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, sorry. My bad. You made some splitters already, sorry. You need them anyway. My bad. Make yourself some underground belts. And put that there. Underground belt. Again, you still like that, and then up. And again, so that. There we go. That's improved efficiency so much quicker. Maybe so much more. So much quicker. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Changing the words to a song from League of Legends. Hate the game, but I love that song. From by deserve. There we go. And then that's backed up. Push T. And uh, Steel Project's a good one. To get better tools and stuff. Click research. And watch it fly up in the top right hand corner. She is motoring along. As you see though, they might run out. There's none here. Take a while to it stocks up. What I would do is if I was you. Only my advice, you don't have to do this. I highly recommend it though. You see these are running out. Have run out. Well if you'll be such a finish. Hate that that comes up, wish it weren't. Now don't do no research. Wait until all these are built up to the very end. Okay? So then when you do your research, it's always going to have a load. And then this setup will keep it going and it will always have enough there to go. That was a bit of an overload, but that's a good thing. That means an efficient system. Okay, now. Let's quickly go around and check the other systems we got. Flipping auto save. And see if there's any upgrades we can do, then I've got to go.
No, that's all good. Like here, we've got a little issue here. It's not really part of this tutorial, but I'll show you this anyway, so you learn how to do it. I will be doing a video on conveyor belts and splitters, you know, at some other point. But, so now, we'll just do that. So you want that, that, like, so we get, break that, get a splitter, put it, break that. Break that, my bad. Put that there. Reconnect my electric now. You get that, you get that, and then you put that down there. And you get that. No, you don't. My bad. Like that. And one of these against there, like that. There you go. That has made it so much more efficient. It's unbelievable. And now, ready, bang, off she goes. Wait for that to go through, as you can see it all up and running. I think it's a really nice design. I can't see how you can make it more efficient. The only thing you can do better is... With the research... With the very basic research in the beginning, not now, would be is add more and more and more but I'd wait until you can afford to make that which we can make now but we'll get back into that now we have no power oh, two seconds I'm going to go off and check the power ok I'm down here in the system and I decided we're going to quickly do a bit more on this video so I have to do a little bit too long what we're going to do is quickly set up a comb system for it. Not that, not that one. Like that. Not the best way of doing it, but as you know, that's all I can spawn in. That's just opening a command, so yeah. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, and we need performance is fine, right? Performance is getting a bit high. We obviously we need that low really, but that'd be fine. Like that. Like that. And if you're watching this video going, how is it obvious? You haven't told me what performance means. There's a different video for that. That's the first video. How to set up power. Okay, now. Can't get in there, so we can't have that one. So we put that there. Do that. Get some more poles. Go. Make sure that system works in those corners. Now 
over here what we'll do is we'll just get that we'll get a splitter put that there grab that and do that Yeah, I've just got to go, but I've just got here. And you saw it went a bit too high, but oh well. Okay, do this. That was that. That like that. Okay, I'll see you down the bottom. And here it is. You see they've all run out of coal. Everything's low on power, but that's about to change. And then goes to... Oh, no! That'll never work. They need power to work. There go. <laughs> Lol. Now keep them going. It's almost forever. There's a lot of coal there. <laughs> But yeah, there we go, that's that. How are they doing in performance? Yeah, they're doing fine because I've added some more iron machines. Can I zoom right in there? No player there. Minor machines there. If you're near a player to your multiplayer, you can do that. It's really nice. So you can watch what they're doing. And they're like, oh mate, how do you do this? You're going to see when you have to go over there. Then I'll turn them because they're not used. They are. Only to, it only uses the amount of power it, it needs. But I've discussed that in the right video, Mark. And that's that. I oh, guess I'll just show you one last thing. Now we have it all set up and it was all stopped up. Ready? Research. Bang. Top right corner. Meow. Meow. Supersonic speed. Oh, that's how you do research. Bang, done. Now, in between episodes, I will research them all. Well, I say research them all. There's only two left because I've been doing it a minute ago. But there you go. i got to go. So, I'll see you guys again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All the links to all my social networks and my mods and everything else I do is in the description below. Don't forget, if you're interested, there's a sci-fi book that my uncle makes. And there's a donation button there if you want to help me get my new processor so we can record higher quality videos and play higher quality games. Because some games I still can't record. Um, yeah, and that's it. Bye for now.